Hey, what's going on everyone? Negative Zero here. Today we are going to talk about how do we set up a multi-boxing setup in 2022. Now, there's a lot of controversy around multi-boxing. And people say multi-boxing is against the terms of service and blah, 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 blah. Not true. Multi-boxing is allowed by WoW, by the WoW team. It is a something you can do. However, there are restrictions on what you can and cannot do. Things you cannot do, you cannot broadcast cursors, you cannot broadcast keystrokes. So if I hit like, you know, my spell in this first window, I cannot have the rest of the windows automatically send that spell to the rest of the windows. Not allowed. What you can do though, is you can set up your windows to allow you to more efficiently farm things, right? So let's go here. I'm gonna show a quick demo of what you can do. So like if I hit one here, so look, if I look at this, I've got this guy set up for one, which will cast my Frostbolt onto this Scar Shield Quartermaster. Now the rest of my windows, they're all sitting here and they are not doing anything when I cast Frostbolt. See, uh, nothing does anything. What you can do is you can start casting your Frostbolt Move over to window two and start assisting. Three, assist. Four, assist. Five, assist. And just go between them all and start casting the window. The only way the various windows get the cast is if I actually have my mouse cursor over the window and I'm casting the spell. And then I can just spam. And you're just basically spamming. And so, like, it really works with, like, Arcane Explosion, right? So I've got... Well, these are all mages. I'd use Arcane Explosion. It's a little purple spell. Purple spell. Purple spell. But now if you start spamming it, you get the ooh, spam effect. Pretty sweet. So I'm going to show you how to set this up in 2022 to allow you to efficiently multi-box without violating in the terms of service. Wow. If you're interested, stick around. All right. First thing you need to do to multi boxes to have multiple accounts. Uh, so if you are on your WoW account, you can go into your games and subscriptions tab and create a starter edition account. Add a starter edition account to your existing account. You can create, um, I believe, up to eight per Battle.net account. So if you look, at, if I look at mine, I've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one of them is public test room. So I have six on the Americas and Oceania. I've got so negative zero, I've got WoW 3, WoW 5, WoW 1, WoW 6, WoW 7. Um, so all of those are my accounts. So create your accounts. Uh, if you want to play above level 20, you're going to have to actually buy a um, subscription and you know pay your subscription fees and buy the actual game itself and do all that kind of stuff. But if you want to just add an account just to play around with and test, you can add just these you know, starter editions or inactive account, you know, a lot of these are inactive accounts because I haven't leveled them up in a while, but I can still play on them right now. I can play up to level 20 and, you know, anything over level 20 tells me I need to, you know, buy WoW to continue or extend my subscription. The next piece of software you're going to need is called WoW Openbox. WoW Openbox is a multi-boxing assisting software that runs in your desktop. And what this does is this handles mainly the window management for you so if you look at the um so if you go to the wow open box here on github you know this is the main window and what it looks like um this actually screenshot is old because it no longer round robin keys for you it does not do any key broadcasting at all it just does your window management for you makes window management very easy next up you're going to need two add-ons from uh from either CurseForge or wherever you happen to get your add-ons from. And that is, so you need Dynamic Boxer. This is the core add-on for the multi-boxing software. And this just assists you in game. It helps you set up your teams. It helps you, uh, you know, do the auto invites and things like that. And that's paired with a software called Mama. And Mama is Minimal Yet Awesome Multi-Boxing Assistant. Uh, and this is the software that does you know, it lets you create your teams in game, lets you set everything up, and then when you log into your multi-boxing setup, it'll auto-invite everybody to the team. There's macros in there to follow and assist, uh, so you can just get everybody all together, 
follow them, then assist, and then you can start spamming your keys across the windows. So what you can do is you can just go ahead and start your open multiboxing software and then go in here and look at the windows. So there's options for window layout. So this is the window layout. You can set up um, how you want the windows laid out. I have actually have multiple monitors, so I'm only actually doing this on my main monitor. You could actually have stuff on, if you have multiple monitors, like two monitors, you could have stuff on monitor left, stuff on monitor right, and uh, swap between them and use more space and have bigger windows and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can set, set up your window for you know, 28, um, and you can say, give me auto, and it's going to do all these little mini windows there. Uh, but, you know, since I'm only doing five, um, you can set the auto layout. Um, one other thing I like to do is turn off auto, and I like to move you know, the, the windows around a little bit to, to get them exactly where I want them. You can use the keyboard to move them. You can use the mouse to move them, so you can kind of get them where you want them. Oops, don't want to lock it. And then I'll move this guy over here, and I like him right there, and I'll kind of move him around, get him exactly where I want him, and then say save and apply. And if you looked real quick, you could see it showed the it showed them on my screen there for a second. Uh, so if I actually minimize this and minimize this and minimize this, and then there, right there, you can see it's showing the number one, two, three, four, five on my screen, and I'm going to save and apply and close. Uh, if I need to make changes, uh, I can uh, edit the raw settings. So if you actually want to go in and, you know, oh, it's off by two pixels and I can't get it quite in the mouse, you could go in here and change some of these pixel numbers and it will make it really easy to, to get set up and set up correctly the way you want it. Uh, it's not that complex. It's pretty. Um, it's a pretty simple thing. If you just read you know, position X, Y, that's the X and the Y on your screen in pixels where things are going to appear. But you don't have to go tweak with that at all if you don't want to. All right, at this point, we are ready to launch our software. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my WoW launcher and switch over to WoW. And I have this set up for five windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch my first window. There is a batch file you can use to launch the windows and do all of that. I prefer to do the launcher approach because then I don't have to type my password multiple times. I don't have to go through pasting and um, trusting their software isn't gonna steal my password. So. I prefer this way. So if I hit play, it's going to launch my main WoW account. And since it's the first one I'm launching, it's going to be triggered as window one. And you see it says next window one here. All right, window one is loaded and it's now logging in. Once I see it logged into the game, then I know I can start doing um, number two. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start the enter world because my first one takes longer because I have more add ons enabled. And I'm going to go to WoW 3, which is my next account I want to load. That's going to load into Window 2 over here on the top right. So you'll see it launch and then snap to that position. Once I see it's logged in, then I can move to WoW 5. Once I see it's logged in, then I'll switch to WoW 5. While WoW 5 is launching, I will then log in with that account. And then number 5 is going to load here into position 3. My WoW 6 is going to load into position 4 here on the bottom. Again, just getting all of these accounts logged in and set to go. Let's see, it's logged in. Close the... There we go, it's loading up, doing all the stuff. And finally, I will load WoW 7, and that will load in this bottom right corner. Once all of that's loaded, I will make sure all my windows have focus. And now we're ready to actually coordinate the accounts. So right now, you could multi-box like this. You could set up macros to auto-follow. You could set up macros to auto-assist. And you could do all of that manually. But this is where Mama and Dynabo Dynamic Box come into play. So on your main character, so this main guy here, I'm going to then set up mama i'm gonna say slash mama slot one and it's gonna say hey this is slot one all right slot one is now identified as my negative zero on one trove i'm gonna copy that string and say okay then i'm gonna go over here and say okay this guy is mama slot two 
and then I'm going to paste that string and say OK. Then I'm going to go over to this one and say this is mama slot 3. Paste OK. This is mama slot 4. Paste OK. And this finally is mama slot 5 and paste OK. I have now set up all five accounts. And you'll see now I all five accounts are in my in in my group. They're set up and then I have some macros that I use. Um, so if you go to, into the Mama UI, so if I open up the Mama UI, which I can say right click for options, it shows you here. It says, OK, the, you can say click Mama Assist, which is a macro that they have set up. So on each of these accounts, I have my first slot, my Frostbolt, set with a macro. And I have that set up to then do um, slash assist and then slash cast Frostbolt. And that's what the macro looks like. And I will put the macro in the uh, text below for how you set up the macros for, for that account. And then on my main account, I have a macro set up for my Frostbolt. And my macro on that one is to do Mama all together. So it basically says group everybody up and then cast Frostbolt. And in doing that, I can then spam one and then one make sure that everybody's following me. And even if I like, oh, I'm gonna move this guy over here and run away, then I can just hit one and that guy will run back because he will auto follow the main leader of the group. And you can see there's other guys here that are trying to do the same thing I'm doing. But now these guys are set up and what I can then do is go find somebody to kill or find somebody to do work with. And again, if I click here and I hit six, six, six. Okay, uh, one other setting, forgot to mention. Inside WoW open box. There is this setting called Focus Follows Mouse. I'm going to set up Focus Follows Mouse. Ooh. Focus Follows Mouse. Be true. I'm going to set that, set that Focus Follows Mouse way down here in the bottom. And when Focus Follows Mouse is set, set, set Focus Follows Mouse. Now the Focus Follows the Mouse. So I can hit six here, six. And then as I move the mouse around between the screens, I can hit six, and that's going to be spamming my Arcane Blast on each of these characters. If I have a target, like that guy right there, right, I can cast it, cast, 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 cast between all of them. So that's what that Focus Follows Mouse gives you the ability to quickly and easily follow the mouse between all of your characters. Really useful tool. Uh, another useful thing to do is sometimes these windows are really small and let's say let's say you've got a full mailbox or a full uh, uh, a full backpack and you're like I, I just need to get this set up so you can go into wow multi box oh that focus file box boxes sometimes annoying um all right so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say I'm gonna release wow three say forget about wow three and you see it gets the title back. This is now wall three, he's full screen. I can go in here, I can go into my bag, I can look at stuff I could. Oh, see, I got 12 slot bag over my eight slot bag. So, I can, oh, I'm gonna take that over the eight. I'm gonna take that over six. And now I've got a little bit more bag space. And then now I'm gonna go back and say, okay, I'm done messing with him. I wanna recapture that window and it recaptures that window, puts it back into the slot that you expect. And that really is all you need to do to start multiboxing. Then once you have it set up, start setting up macros to auto assist and auto play and auto do everything you want to do. Um, and it's really you know easy to do these days. Just remember that the one thing you cannot do, and you should not do, is trying to auto macro across your windows. Make sure that every time you're clicking a key, it's clicking the key and then moving across the various windows. You do all that, you are set to go. Thanks everybody for watching. I've been Negative Zero. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe, do all the you know stuff that everybody wants you to do on a YouTube video. Thanks.